The days are starting to cool down and what's better than a long, lazy autumn lunch? Sounds good, but while you want something that tastes amazing, no one wants to spend hours preparing, especially on the weekend. So here with some ideas is Echo Restaurant's Philip Johnson. Good morning to you, Philip. Good morning, Philip. What should we keep in mind when, when planning a menu for a long lunch? I mean, you obviously don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, so a lot yeah. of the food that I like to eat is like a salad tiered, which I'm going to do here, which is like a tepid salad where the, the, we've got the salad ingredients which are cool, but the meat's hot, and it's just a nice way to eat. And you're, right. not, going to, you're not going to spend hours in the kitchen, so effectively we've, we've cooked the lamb, but everything else we really had pre-prepared. Right. Yeah. Oh, OK, so tell us about the main event here. What are you cooking for? Yeah, so the rack of lamb we've just sealed in the pan and then put it in the oven for 220C for about 10 minutes, and I've just mm -hmm. rested that. The other ingredients we've got is... So the dish is really with the, the scorched tomatoes, the sumac croutons, some watercress, feta and olives. OK, so, so what do we do? We've just got a very hot pan, mm -hmm. as hot as you can get it. Are they little grape tomatoes? They're little cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes, So these okay. are the, the two colour ones, yeah. Come on, Carly. <laughs> Let's get my grapes grape and cherries <laughs> mixed up like so, that. Wasn't those elongated ones? They looked grapeish to me, but there you go. But they're, um, you can see them just scorching up. So that's a dry pan, and obviously a non-stick pan's the best for that. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some balsamic vinaigrette, which is just sort of one to three olive, you know, three parts olive oil, one part balsamic, maybe a pinch of sugar, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. And I'll just give them another couple of seconds. But what happens? We just scorch them so they slightly collapsed, and they just they leak their right. Let's have a look at that all on the camera. All so the flavour. Okay. So and that's a pretty quick exercise, right? That can be done in the morning and sit for a few hours until oh, okay. you want it. Yeah. The other ingredients we've got is obviously some watercress. We've got the these are Australian manzanella olives, which I think mm -hmm. are fantastic. Some sugar snaps. I mean, you could use, you could blanch it, some frozen peas and yep. whatever. Okay. And this is a great from Yarra Valley's, uh, a Persian feta from, it's a cow's milk feta. Okay, but any sort of feta would do. Oh, absolutely. That sounds. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. Or if you have an aversion to feta, any, any, any another sort of cheese. Okay, right. great. Right. Then what do we do? And the croutons are the other part. So what would we we'd do is just um, moisten those with a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. A good pinch of sumac, which is a Mediterranean spice, which has. A very sort of citrus yes. fragrance to it. Yeah. I think I have some of that in my cupboard. And we just lay that on a tray and cook them until they're crisp. It's a very Mediterranean spin, isn't it, with the, the tomatoes and the feta? Oh, absolutely. Isn't it? Yeah. On the old classic. Yeah. Listen to you, go. Yeah, well, that's all I got. I've used my, I had one big sentence, Kylie, and I've used it. I'm spent. A Mediterranean I'm just spin. Gonna, I just don't want to splash you here, Larry, but I'm just going to put a little bit of that vinaigrette in there. Kylie will protect me. <laughs> Kylie in her fireproof outfit will protect me. It does look like oh, no, fireproof. Away. And like that, those tomatoes are just going to sort of suck up the. The balsamic. Right. I hope the smoke alarm doesn't go off. And then once you've got it to that stage, really there's enough heat in the pan, so just turn that off and just leave it in the pan for a few minutes. And then in two or three minutes' time, you're sitting in the pan, you'd end up with that. Right. See, that's, uh, that balsamic cloud is quite invigorating, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll move it over here. All right, no, that's, that's great. All right. All right. Okay. And then what do we now, do? And so to put it together, <clears throat> and again, you could do this for a large... You could serve this like a large bowl for, say, six people and just have the lamb sliced around it. Or right. if you're going to plate individually, yeah. we put the salad ingredients in. So I've got some of the, the watercress, mm -hmm. um, just some of our tomatoes. And you can see how some of that balsamic is just leached out mm, from the yeah. tomatoes. Yeah. 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 The croutons, which are obviously we've, we've roasted and they're crisp. Mm -hmm. We've got the um, manzanella olives. So nothing here is taking a long time. It's all, all no. nice and quick, right? And then these are these sugar snaps or snow peas. You could use any peas. And if, okay. if they're frozen, you can blanch them and just refresh them in iced water. OK. So that's our salad. And to that, we're just going to add a little bit more of the vinaigrette. Which we'll... is what you used on the tomatoes earlier, right? Yeah. OK. And we're just going to stir that. And again, the thing with salads is just sometimes you have to use your hands. But just, just be very light and just lift it onto the plate. Yeah. Right. And I often see the, you know, the apprentices and that they go back and they try to fix it, but oft the best way is once you've put it on, just it, it usually looks the best when it's just been put on. And just, you just slap it on, yeah. Just leave, leave it alone, because if you go back and try to repair it, you never quite... Yeah. Do. The slap it on philosoph philosophy is one that... And philosophy, too. It's one that I... And then the feta, I'm just going to scatter over... Here comes the Mediterranean spin, <laughs> Kylie. <laughs> the feta I'm going to put on just so you can see that visually. Right. And that's really our salad. That's our salad. And then what and happens with the lamb? Well, the lamb is just being cooked and it can be, it doesn't have to be hot, it can be room temperature. Yeah. We're just going to, um, this is a four finger rack. What yep. I would probably do is just cut one of those bones off because I only really want three. Yeah. And just straight through. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, that looks and amazing. 
Well, no, uh, to finish uh, uh, it, you could mm. you could just put a little bit more vinaigrette, or I've got a little bit of sauce that we made from the lamb, or you could you can buy like what they call in the industry, like a jus or a demi glace, like a little sauce. I'll, I'll never be able to look at a normal chop in the face again. And we're just look at that. We're just going to moisten that. But I mean, you could serve this, as I said, in a big bowl, All right, and, now, just, and, put the, and just rack, put the put the lamb around it, perhaps something like that. So. Okay. And wine for this one. Yeah, that's, as that's we're doing the the, the, um, the dinner at Wyndham Estate this weekend, and this, okay. the Shiraz, the Shiraz is, is, um, is matched with this dish, and yeah, it's I mean it's right. a great value wine. Plus, it's a, it's a, I think it won an award in the show Sydney show last week. Okay, okay. and, and that's that we, part of your big lunch this weekend, right? Yeah, it Fantastic. is. Fantastic. Yeah, terrific. It's a nice synergy because the lunches have been the autumn lunches have been going for. 14 years, I think they started in 95 and that's when we started Echo, so... Great. Yeah. OK, hey, listen, thank you very much for coming in uh, and making us a, a, a late breakfast. If I put uh, Glad Wrap on that, will that last till Sunday? Do you Sunday better, lunch? You better be quick. As soon as, as, soon as we throw to the next ad, oh, Carly, that's gone. OK, if, thanks, If you'd Philip. like a copy thank of you. Philip's recipe, just head to our website. It's there and it smells absolutely beautiful. I'm sure it's going to taste...